All right, kid. Let's go. Never, ever tell me anything like that over walkie-talkie. Not ever again. Adam, you're right. But I was shaken up. I didn't know whether to believe it. I didn't even know what I was doing. I've never needed a hug so badly. But you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Kid. We have to find my aunt. We'll find your aunt and the son of a bitch that killed your uncle. She's alive, right? I hope so. Harley is getting ready for the biggest search party you've ever seen, Adam. We've already got over a hundred volunteers coming. We'll find her. All right? Let's go. Sure you don't want me to go down there? I've done this before. Just pay attention. Give me more or less slack when I tell you to, okay? You think there's a connection, don't you? Between my uncle and Ed Miller. According to the forensics, your uncle died... ...was murdered. A little over a week ago. The same day. Or maybe the following. He was going to go fishing with Miller. We are talking pretty much the same day that Miller's car went over that cliff. And then Jackass says... ...he was riding with a girl and a baby that no one's ever heard of. But firemen went down and didn't find anything. We don't put out fires, and they don't find... things. All right. Go for it. I'm on the ground. I'm on clipping, all right? Roger that, boss. <sighs> I skipped the monthly dinner, Nick. No reason. I just didn't feel like it. I don't know why. Just didn't. You know. I just stayed home. Watched some stupid show with Marcello. Maybe if I had gone... None of what happened is your fault. The real culprit is out there, and we're going to find him. Okay? Sure, we will. I get why you feel that way. And I have no idea how one gets rid of that feeling. However much time goes by, all I know is that it's pointless. It's like a busted pipe. The more you force it, If that doesn't make you smile, <laughs> I don't know what will. Asshole.
I'm sorry. Adam. Are you getting poetic with me? <laughs> you asshole. Son of a bitch. Tell Harley to call forensics. We've got work for them. No! It's too early, John. I don't... Do you even listen to me when I talk? Oh, God. Next week... <sighs> Here we go again. Next week? There's no traffic now. You know how it gets? If we don't leave before sunrise, we don't get there until lunchtime. I mean, honestly. <sighs> Next week, we should leave at a reasonable time. The kids need their rest. You're saying that as if I didn't care. Not again, please. I'm their father. Are you saying I don't care? No one said that, John. No okay. one. not going to win this fight. Mm -mm. It's over.
Why am I telling you this? It's important, Ed. <laughs> it's not just the money, is it? You shrinks are all addicted to other people's pain. You... You get off on it. Tell me about your father, about his... See, case in point. Hmm. Please. Aunt Claire really loves you, huh? If she brought me all those books, I would have never left my room. What about the birthday cake she's making for you, huh? Come on, let's see if you remember the ingredients we have to buy. Okay, I'll say one, and then you say one. Baking powder? Eggs. No. Flour. No. Butter. No. Molasses. No. Well, I've held up my side of the bargain. Somebody must be exhausted from all that listening. <laughs> so, sandwich before going back home? Hmm? You know, um... Uh, you do know that what you told me is not how things really happened, <laughs> right? <sighs> Addicts. <sighs> <sighs> that wasn't enough for you? You need a double dose of tragedy? <laughs> Look at the spiral, please. Hmm. Um, you got me out of the hospital. You're a friend of Robert's. But, mm -mm 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 -mm. you've just used up the last favor I owe you. So, next ones. Sandwich. Car. Road. Bed. Got it. Got it. You're nine. Your parents woke you up in the middle of the night to go on a trip. You fell asleep in the car. Your sister is next to you. You hear your parents and gradually you wake up. I'm... I... I am... No! You have several plastic figurines. Can you describe them to me? They're... 
They are from... Please, no. No. Wake up, Eddie. No. Wake up. No. Wake up. No! Wake up. No! Damn it! I can't do this anymore, John. I can't. Do you even listen to me when I talk? Next week. What did you promise me, hmm? Next week. For richer, for poorer, in sickness, and in health. Until death fucking do us part! God damn it! Next week, I'm taking the kids, and I'm leaving. The sooner you get to it be in with your him. head. Am I right? Not again, please. With Jimmy's father. Seriously think I didn't know about that? That I don't know who he is? There's nobody, John. Nobody. You're not gonna tear this family apart. Mm-mm. When was Jenny born? Mom says she'll be a hundred days old next week. Wow, that's a lot, huh? Do you go from San Francisco to Cerro Lake every weekend? Mainly in the summertime. The house in San Francisco is really small. And Dad says his imagination doesn't fit inside. So it ends up jumping out the window. Especially now that they've turned his office into Jenny's room, right? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Before, you said your mother winked at you at that point. But actually, she only looked at you. Why? She would do that sometimes. Why did you forget the last look she gave you, Ed? I don't know. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. Did you hurt your collarbone? The doctor will say the seatbelt saved me, but it 
burnt my skin. She's asleep, isn't she? You know she's not, Eddie. She's crying. Jenny's crying. Is she okay? You know she's not, Eddie. Before, you told me a blowout caused the accident. Yep. But you didn't hear anything, did you, Ed? That's what Dad will tell the police. Will your father keep drinking from that day until his last? Aunt Claire won't let him. Aunt Claire? She'll come from San Bernardino to take care of us. Do you still have that figurine? I'll lose it. you yet. Tick tock, Doctor. He's in rehab. You can't go in there. What did you do, Miller? Sheriff Reyes. That's me. What the hell did you do? Dr. Lomas? That's me. Oh, uh, sorry. I, uh, should, um, I have to talk to Mr. Miller. Could you wait outside just a minute? I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but you have no right to be in here. On behalf of my patient, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I understand your predicament, Doctor, but it's serious. I wouldn't be asking you if... I understand your predicament as well, Shara. You barged into my patient's room without permission. What's so urgent? Do you have a warrant explaining why? I know this might seem, uh, irregular, but, uh, if I could just... I don't care what it looks like. But you are the one leaving this room. Doctor. Please. Dr. Lomas. I'll take care of this. Please. Thank you. You don't like me, I don't like you. Let's get to the point. Okay, Miller. 27 years ago, on Brody Canyon Bridge, your family... No. No, no. No. And now the exact same thing happens. And I'm supposed to believe it? I suppose you know they ran some tests when you got to the hospital. Huh. Enlighten me. 
What did they find? Alcohol. Yeah, right. Well, according to the truck driver who saved you, you reeked of booze. I hate this stuff. Can't even stand the smell. Hmm. Even an 18-year-old Durrell Special Reserve? Said at thieves. <laughs> Do I look like someone who has trouble sleeping? I've been in bed for a week. Antipsychotics. <sighs> I doubt that. Does Advil count? So, how did it all happen? Here we go again. I was sleeping. Faye woke me up. Jenny had a slight fever. Jenny? My daughter. Jenny. We got dressed to take her to the hospital. We got in the car, and that's it. That's it. I told you, I don't remember. Amnesia. Mm. Comes in handy sometimes, doesn't it? We searched the car. No sign of a certain fay or a baby. <laughs> the police academy isn't what it used to be. Convince me. I'm sure you have their pictures on your phone, right? It was the first freaking thing I checked when I woke up. All deleted. Sure. Describe her then. Height? Uh... Average? Five foot eight? Blonde brunette. Practically silver. Shoulder length. Straight. Eye color? Light. Green. Ethnicity? Caucasian. Very fair skin. It takes a lot of guts to commit suicide. Or maybe it takes the opposite. If that truck driver hadn't showed up, would you have done it? No, I was getting down from the railing when he knocked me on the ground. Had you met him before? The, the truck driver? What are you suggesting? <laughs> you had me confused for a minute there, Sheriff. I thought, how is this guy who's been out to get me since forever the only one who seems to believe Faye exists? <laughs> but I get it now. I stopped counting the amount of times you pulled me over for a breath test. Now you finally have an excuse. You want to lock me up for a damn DUI? And if you can also peg involuntary manslaughter on me, all hail the sheriff. <laughs> you have no idea of the charges coming your way. And it all starts here. You are good friends with the Franklins, aren't you? What? What have they got to do with any of this? Do you have a gun permit? I'm a writer. The pennant is mightier than the sword and all that crap. Then, what's that Glock 19 doing in your glove compartment, huh? What are you talking about? Are you messing with the little sanity I have left? How do you get along with Esther Franklin? We were close when I was a kid, but... That ended when I went to San Bernardino with Aunt Claire. When I came back about... Nine years ago, we started to reconnect. She still cares about me, for some reason. Do you and Samuel Franklin go fishing a lot? Is that a crime? Huh. You barely have any friends. Him, I'd say he had, what, none? I don't know. A few years ago, I went for a walk in the woods. He was fishing. I spooked his fish. He ended up showing me the ropes. We go down to the river every once in a while now. Or he just stops by when he's bored. Just your average boy meets old guy story. <sighs> All right. That's it. What's going on? Mr. Franklin is missing. Samuel Franklin died from a bullet to the head. The same day, you almost killed yourself. No. 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 No.
Looks like he wasn't lying about this. Hmm. What if I handed it to him? With some excuse to look at something. Maybe a picture of this Fay. What did he say she looked like? No. If Miller has seen any detective movies, he'll know what I'm trying to do, especially being a writer. <sighs> Too risky. He's right there, and it doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Too many people have touched it. And Miller's probably the only one who hasn't. Miller. What am I, Sheriff? A lunatic? <laughs> A murderer? Right now, we are just a suspect. We'll see what happens. What about Esther? We have to find her. A search party is all set for this afternoon. We'll find her. And I can't even help. Fucking vertigo. <sighs> There's something I want you to see. This was just sent to me. She was seen around the park. Is it Faye? She was blonde and had green eyes, but no. Zoom in. Look at the details. Maybe she was wearing a fake nose or something. Uh, no. Sorry, but no. Hey, Sheriff. Find Esther. By the way, we found your cap in the ravine. What cap? The one with the stars and stripes. No. Ugh. <sighs> 